What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hope all you're having a great day so far. Um, getting into this episode of Days of Our Lives, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of had a thought that Gwen could possibly be Jack's child, but I was hoping they wouldn't go that route because that's such a typical route to go. Um, I had a thought because she was targeting that family. So I'm like, she got to be somebody child. Um, so, of course, she's Jack's child. The question now is, who's her mother? Like, who's Gwen's mother? Jack's the father. Like, hopefully they, they fill that in very quickly. Um, like, she's going after the family because of what? Because she feels what jack deserted her or something or he was never there for her jack obviously did not know gwen is his is his daughter he clearly never knew that so why go after the family over something none of them knew i'm pretty sure if they knew she was jack's child they probably more than likely they would have welcomed her with open arms you know what i mean i i, I can't stand when they do storylines like this where the kid finds out, oh, this person is their biological parent, so they come to town to destroy them or whatever because they feel abandoned or whatever. But I'm like, you can't feel abandoned when the person did not know you were their child. And I don't think Jack knew. I really don't think he did. Unless he was just surprised that she found him or something, maybe he did know. But you can't take that out on Abigail or, or Jennifer or whatever because none of them knew about it. Clearly, Jennifer and Abigail had no clue. So Gwen needs to stop her foolishness. Like you're coming after them for bogus reasons. You know, like they did not know about you. I'm pretty sure if they did, they would have welcomed you and you would have been a part of the family. But they didn't know. So you can't get mad at people and try to get revenge on people for something they did not. They didn't do anything to you. Um. I don't know how Jennifer going to take this because she was shocked as hell. So once the shock wears off, I wonder how she going to feel about her husband having a whole nother child by some unknown woman. Hopefully they like I said, hopefully we find out very soon who that unknown woman is. Um, It was funny as hell when Anna was in the, in the Horton Square or whatever and she had tripped Gwen. That shit was funny because Anna basically told Gwen, take your ass back to where you came from. Leave Salem. But of course, Gwen ain't leaving. She's not leaving. She feels like her revenge is not complete, so she's going to come to Salem to get some petty revenge, which I feel is going to backfire her because she's doing all this for nothing. Um, I wonder how Abigail going to take the news that she has a half-sister. Like, And then, of course, they have to call JJ and tell him. Damn, why they send JJ back to Africa now? Like, they sent him back real quick. Like, he could have stayed around for a little while longer to find out he got a sister. I'm just saying. Um, it was smart, though, of Chad to go see Dr. Roth to find out what Gwen was up to and stuff. And, you know, Chad, I'm, I'm glad he used his brain for once and he got Roth to talk by using Stefano as, you know, a bargaining or whatever, like, you know, try to guilt trip Roth into talk to him. Because everybody know Roth is crazy loyal to Stefano. But that loyalty doesn't necessarily trickle down to Stefano's children because <laughs> Roth was really only loyal to Stefano. He wasn't really loyal to the kids. It was more so for the boss. Even in death, he's still loyal to Stefano. That's insane. Um, but, you know, Roth pretty much told Chad the truth, like why Gwen was in town. So, of course, Chad went over to tell Abigail. Hopefully, this does not send Abigail rushing back to Chad. I really don't think it should. It shouldn't change anything. Whether Chad was set up or whatever doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, he still chose to believe another woman over his wife yet again. So I feel like it shouldn't negate any of the problems that they have. Hopefully, Abigail used her brain and sticks to her guns and, you know, keep her distance from Chad for a little while, at least so they sort something out. Um, you know, make him beg, make him plead. So anyway, moving on from that, um, that shit was hilarious with Tony. Tony was laughing his ass off basically when he found out 
that Jake was the new CEO of Demira and stuff like that. Um, I I mean, I don't blame Tony. I mean, here's the thing. You should never underestimate anybody, but I'm totally underestimating Jake because Jake has no idea how to run a huge company. He barely knew how to run a small garage, let alone a multi-million dollar brand. I'm just saying. Because Tony, when he found out that, you know, Chad was no longer CEO, because they sitting there talking about Chad was ousted as CEO. First of all, he was not ousted. He chose to resign. It was his choice, technically, even though I think even if Chad didn't make that choice, they probably the board probably would have made that choice for him. Um, But my thing is, Tony was ready to step up and they gave it to Jake. I'm like. Why would you give it to Jake? Jake, a mechanic. And the funny part, the funny thing is Kate was standing up for her man. Like Kate is not playing about Jake because when Tony was trying to talk shit about Jake, Kate was defending him um, and pretty much told Tony to mind his damn business. You know, what goes on between her and Jake is their business. I think Kate is falling for Jake. Like she falling for that, for that young buck. I said, OK, Kate. Um. When Gabby came up in there, Jake wanted literally nothing to do with her at that point. But she pretty much told him, like, the reason she had to leave town was for her safety, her family's safety. She didn't want to hurt him, but she had to do it. Um, but now that she's back, she's and she's happy that Chad is no longer CEO because she has an idea to revive Gabby Chic. And this fool Jake sitting there talking about some, well, show me a business proposal. Excuse me. First of all, Gabby Chic was a popular brand that Gabby created. Obviously, it was popular because Demira Enterprises wanted to merge with it so bad. So clearly it was a hit. Um, And she made that company successful. So why would she need to show you a business proposal? I mean, I understand, you know, that's the professional way of handling things. But you should trust that she knows what she's doing. I mean, it was her brand. It was something she created that jumped off, that made the company a lot of money. And they just, the board decided to shut it down because of pretty much all the drama that was going on with Demira. They shut that company down. And because of Gabby's ego, um, they decided to shut it down. But I think bringing Gabby Sheik back would be a smart move. Because um, we all knew Gabby wasn't going to stop until she got that company back. We all knew that she was come hella high water. She was going to do whatever she could to get that company. And when Chad is now that Chad is no longer CEO, she saw it as her golden opportunity to swoop back in and also to make a play for Jake, because now that Jake's CEO, this is a chance for the two of them to mix business and pleasure. But he tried to tell her, well, I'm with Kate now. Gabby was not taking that shit seriously that he's with Kate. She sees that relationship pretty much as a joke. And feels like the only reason he got with Kate is because Gabby left town. So she sees Kate as nothing more than a consolation prize. Um, but Jake doesn't see it that way. Jake was like, you know, him and Kate, that's the real deal. That's the real thing. Um, for me, I don't see Jake and Kate staying together long term. I'm being completely honest. I really don't see them as a viable couple for the long haul. I just see that they're going to just be having some fun with each other. And that's about it, because Jake does need to be with somebody in his age bracket. I'm just saying um, not to say that his feelings for Kate are not genuine, because I'm pretty sure they are. And obviously, Kate's feelings for him are genuine. But I don't see that last in a long time. Like, I really don't. I I'm sorry to say I just don't. He's going to want something younger eventually. We all know it because, you know, any young buck that's with an older chick, eventually they're going to want something younger after a while. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. Kate looks damn good for her age. And I'm pretty, you know, she's seasoned. You know, she got that that season coochie. So, you know, she'd be putting it down, I'm sure. But um, eventually it's going to fade. You know, it's like he's probably going to, you know, want to trade her in for a younger model. It, it happens more often than not. But when Kate walked into that office and saw Gabby kissing all up on Jake, I already know Kate wanted to whoop Gabby's ass. I know she did. I could see it in Kate's eyes. She wanted to bust her ass. And honestly, I can't say that I blame her too much.
I really, really can't. But the way Gabby was putting Kate down, that shit was kind of funny. But I'm like, come on now, Gabby. We all know Kate is a seasoned vet. And Kate will beat the hell out of Gabby if she feels necessary. She feels like it's, it's needed. So Gabby might want to tread lightly on that. I mean, I, I think it would be interesting to see Kate and Gabby going toe-to-toe -to -toe for Jake's affections. I think it's going to be quite entertaining. The lengths that they're willing to stoop to get him. Um, because you know Kate don't like to lose and Gabby doesn't like to lose. So it's going to be war. It, it's going to be hell. We all know it. it, it it's going to be some bitch slapping and, and some hair pulling. It's going to be all type of mess. And I'm here for it. I want to see it. But honestly, though, I, I think Jake probably does still have feelings for Gabby. I'm sure. I'm sure he does. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be shocked. But um, hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode. I will see you all later. Peace.